Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time and for those of you guys that are old friends and family, welcome back. This message today was a really, really strong one. I wasn't expecting this. I really wasn't expecting this. Um, I also didn't write it down because I wasn't expecting it. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I've really been channeling a lot lately. The downloads have just been relentless almost and there's just moments where things have really caught me off guard. This was definitely one of them. This, I think one of the reasons why this one caught, caught me off guard so much was because I was not even, I was honestly focusing on myself and sitting in the bathtub, believe it or not, just relaxing and asking spirit and asking my guides and asking the divine, you know, what's next? What are we doing? What are the next steps? What do you want from me? How do I move today? How do I move tomorrow? What does that look like? And I was receiving the information, the downloads, and just spiritually preparing myself for the next season in my life. Very excited about that. But also what is going to be important to you and what will apply to you is I heard specifically, because I was asking for you guys and asking about you guys, what is it that they need to hear? And I heard the word initiation. You're being initiated. And... Immediately when I heard that, it came with a feeling of this is a really loaded message. This message will be very loaded. But I also heard that it's designed for a specific person. And when I heard the word specific, I'm like, when you say specific, what exactly are you saying? Like, usually when someone comes on my YouTube channel, you know, I'll say like, you'll know if this is for you, but spirit is like, this is a very specific person. This is a very specific message for someone who needs to receive it here now. And initiation, when we first think about that word, we can think about how we might be advancing our spiritual practice or or advancing how we help to heal people on earth or how we show up for others, our medicine, our magic, our intention. Everyone, it's different. Every culture, it's different. So there is that word initiation. And that is a huge, a huge space there, a huge message there. That is a huge cycle that is that you're walking out of and walking into and that's what spirit wants to let you know is that this message doesn't actually apply just to those who are spiritually leveling up in their initiation process or beginning the process of being initiated it also applies to those who are moving past and moving beyond old lifestyles and with that, you are going to be gr greatly and drastically shedding old skin, old relationships, old jobs, houses, locations. It's going to require so much from you. It's going to be a whole change of life. You're going to look back three years to 15 years from now and just not even recognize yourself in the best way possible. There's, It's like a, I don't want to say a cathartic cleansing, but somewhat. So for some of you guys, you have, you're entering into absolute new, completely, totally different roles within your life. This is a role that you knew that you wanted to take on. It was in your spirit, but to find the place where this initiation or this season in your life, where the initiation could occur, felt impossible. It, it specifically, it felt like you knew that this is something that you wanted. You knew that this is who you are, that you were born into. But the culture, the environment, the community, the family, the upbringing, the circumstances didn't reflect the potential of what you are meant and what you are being called to grow into right now. This is a very, very specific message. So there, uh, as I sit with that, I also get this strong sense of the word drought. So this is where you're walking along the desert and there's no sign of life. There's literally no sign of life. You, you, you doubt that there is, that there could even be life sustained here, that there could ever be life living here. And you know that if it's there, it has to be hidden from you. You know that if it's hidden, it's for survival. It's for a reason. And Spirit wants to specifically bring that up and say that the resource that you're looking for or the confirmation or the next steps or the watering hole that you would normally find and go to has been absent and missing and away from your ability to observe it for a very specific reason. It was for your own survival, but also for the survival of those around you. I don't know exactly what that means. I think that 
I'm also hearing the words like hidden, hidden in plain sight. So for some of you guys, there are certain things in front of you that you might not recognize as a part of the healing process or a part of the steps to get you to this initiation, but it served a tremendous value. So your perception is that it's absent and that there's nothing there and that you are left to your own devices when the truth is, is that you're actually being led. And the fact that you're in that desert is to literally protect you from energies, people, places, things that can't survive in that environment, that if you were in a place that was lush and thriving and it looked like medicine, it would actually put you in danger. It would actually put you in a spot where you were a target or there would, I don't wanna say too much competition, but the main focus wouldn't be you. Think about if you're walking along the desert and you see a person miles, miles out, you would, you would, the fact that there's a person there or something moving there is striking to you. It's clear to you. It's obvious to you. Even though it's miles away, you'd be like, what is that? That's exactly what spirit didn't want. And that's why you're placed in this quote unquote desert environment because you weren't meant to be spotted. You weren't meant to see, be seen. You were meant to learn how to be resilient. You were meant to learn how to put your faith and your trust in the divine, your faith and your trust in yourself and to move past certain circumstances that would complicate things in order to build up, again, this internal strength, this spiritual strength within you. That is a very, very specific message for someone here. Now, this doesn't, I don't know why, but Spirit is asking me to re-remind you that this isn't just a spiritual process. For some of you guys, it's personal. And for some of you guys, it's a major role that it is that you have been working towards in this life. If that is the case, that last one, you would have felt almost the entirety of your life, I don't care if you're 45, 55, 35, 20, 16, you would have felt the entirety of your life that you're, you're purposeless, that you haven't found your role, that you might have done great things, you might have helped a lot of people, but for some reason there's an absence and Spirit is bringing me right back to the desert. There's this emptiness there, this, I don't wanna say an ache, but this longing that there's something more that you are meant to do, that you are meant to strive for, to be great at. You might look at other people and say, how, how? Like at first it's liberating to see someone who is drinking from the well. And I'll, that's, how I'm, how, that's how Spirit is showing me. It might be liberating and empowering and exciting and encouraging to see someone drinking from the well because it proves to you that those people and those circumstances or the potential does exist, that it can happen. But over time, as you're walking through the desert, you start to get drought. You start to feel the drought. You start to feel dehydrated. You start to see things and not be able to see and observe things for what they are. If you hear any noise, Nova is deciding that now is a great time to have a snack. And I don't blame her. I would have a snack too right now if I could, but I'm talking to you guys right now, which is a great, a great benefit. We should have a, a time where we just all get together and, and snack. Right now, I just have coffee. I have another message that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, and this one's very exciting. And it actually didn't come from, it didn't actually come directly from the divine. Like, it wasn't like how I heard it and saw it, how I'm transferring it over to you guys today. It was more through conversation that I was like, in this group, the, for, it was the Costa Rica group, but it was a conversation that it was I was having with those from the first Costa Rica um, retreat where... I was just like, whoa, it's interesting that we're kind of all in the same spot right now. And I was just like, I need to bring it to the greater tribe, like Bahati, Bahati vibe tribe. Where we all need to sit down and talk and bring this energy because this feels really, really good. So make sure that you keep your eyes out for that next video. I promise you it'll be so uplifting and very, it doesn't matter where you are in this walk of life. It'll be uplifting and good for you. Good for your soul, food for the soul. But back to this bone broth for your soul, right? So the divine is saying was very clear that this is gonna be a new role for you and you're being initiated into this new role. There's, a, there's something too that's connected to that. It's almost like an umbilical cord. And I think I mentioned this in a recent video, the emphasis on the umbilical cord and you severing a tie from the past life, something that was sustaining you but maybe not fulfilling you. You couldn't stay in that space for too long. Think about how a mother carries a baby in her womb. All of her nutrients are being passed into this womb so that this baby can grow. But there comes a point where the growth, however long, whether it be nine months or nine years or 50 years, it can only go on for so long before it's time for you to initiate and move out of this season and into the next. So the umbilical cord needs to be cut so that you find sustenance all on your own, that you find your way. 
That's what Spirit is saying right now. And this new role, this new territory is going to feel like you're coming home to yourself for the first time, that you understand why you're here and what to do. It's like you're in your natural element, but also know that there's a total stripization is what I'm, what is that I'm going to call, call it, of who you are, how you identify, how you show up and certain connections, places, homes, environment, situations, circumstances, jobs are being left behind right with it. And that is a part of you severing that tie and moving forward because yes, you have been initiated. The initiation starts now, it starts now. And this is a very specific message for the person or people that this is meant for. I'm here for it, I'm excited, It come, there's layers to it, but I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet and to the point. As I look to clock, it's 11.11 on the timer so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you wish to you can subscribe if you haven't already if you're taking this message and passing along i give you peace i give you my love and i hope that maybe our paths cross again in the future but if not my blessings to you until then you guys i'll see you next time bye